Okay, so let's take a look at how easy it is to install and run Control Center. So first of all, we get our uh, Control Center startup screen and we install the software itself. So we go through the normal steps on here to install it. You can see it's installing on the, the PC that we've set up here. And it'll go through the installation process at this point on here. We then click on Next to create a new database. Uh, we need to make sure it's a new database, not an existing one. Uh, we then type in the name of the database we put on here. So just type that in. We don't want to segment it either, and we just want to set it up pretty quickly on here. We don't want to use Windows authentication. We'll create our own password at this point, so we'll type it in and just verify it. Okay, and then next. Okay, and there we go. It will start installing it. There it is, uh, finished. So next, what we'll take a look at is how we install the NVR, the network video recorder. Again, go into the installation screen, choose the NVR to set it up, and we go through here and set it up. And we're installing it on the same PC here for, for these purposes. Normally, this would be installed on a separate uh, PC server. We want to give it a name. So we're just going to type in the name, and this is the name that will be displayed in the control center administration part. So we type in here in the location, and we're just going to set it up as a basic NVR. There's a lot of advanced features in here that we could set up, but in this case here, we're just going to have it fairly straightforward. Uh, click on Next on here, again, showing how easy it is to get a simple NVR. There it is up in there. It's installed. So now we're going to log into Control Center. So we run the Control Center uh, program, and it brings up the login screen, and we use the administrator password, and we're in. So now we need to set up the actual database of Control Center, and we're going to um, add in the cameras on here. So we're going to type in the IP addresses. Here they are here in terms of the IP addresses we want to search for. So it's going to search the network for any cameras under those IP addresses. It comes off there, and there's a camera there. We're going to take this one, and we're going to add it to our site on here. So we just dragged it over on here. Right-click and Site Properties, because we want to give it a different name, a more memorable name. So we're just going to change the name of it onto here, uh, something that's, that will be more memorable for other users if they're to use the system. We're going to select how we connect to the camera as well. And that's what we've done on there. So we go on Live View, the top on there, and we just expand on the site there, drag and drop, and there's the camera live there. Very, very quick to do that. Now we want to add the NVR and record and playback the cameras. So we're going to add the NVR to the system on here. We just type again the, the IP address of the NVR that we want to add in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the recording. So to do that, what we do is we select the camera and we start the recording as we're doing on here. So we can see that the recording is going to be set up and we've set the type of connection we want for the recording. And then we go to playback. And to playback the cameras, you just simply double click on the camera or drag and drop. So now let's look at how we can streamline the operator's view. Control Center has got this great feature where you can pin back each of the control panels. For example, here we've minimized the uh, pan tilt zoom uh, panel. So uh, we click on the pan tilt zoom preset and it moves. And one last thing we're going to show today is the cool map feature in Control Center. So here we've got a map already set up. Uh, we're zooming in and we're going to select the view that we want to save for the operators to see. So we're just saving that view in Control Center. Then what we do is we just add in the cameras onto the map itself. Uh, this makes it so much easier for operators to be able to select a camera. And we're setting up where the camera is going to be positioned up for the PTZ uh, on here. But it makes it so much easier for operators because all they do is they just click on an area on the map and Control Center knows exactly where to move the camera to. Uh, so it really streamlines and, and speeds up operations. So we've set up the map on there. If we go to Live View, uh, I'm just going to live view on here and we'll bring up the map. Now normally this would be on multiple monitors, uh, but we're going to do it on one monitor here. We dock the map here and then we just click on the map and the camera moves automatically to that uh, preset. We click on it again and again and it moves, so it really speeds up operations.